let's do an application question now. Um, before we can do an application question, you just have to be clear on a couple term, terms here. Um, so if the question says anything about angle of depression or angle of declination, what that means, this should be up here. What that means is um, the angle measured below the horizontal. Okay, so if this is the horizontal line right here, um, what angle of depression means? Uh, if it tells you the angle of depression is 32 degrees, that means from the horizontal, the angle of this line goes down at is 32 degrees. Okay. If I told you the angle of elevation or angle of inclination was 32 degrees, that means from a horizontal line, um, a line going up from there increases at 32 degrees. Okay, 32 is just an example number. That uh, could be any degree value. Okay, so angle of depression um, is angle measured below the horizontal. Angle of elevation, angle measured above the horizontal. Okay. Let's do an application question now. So, well, let me get this full screen so we can really see it. Okay. Kim and Jerry live in apartment buildings that are 30 meters apart. So these are 30 meters apart. Um, the angle of depression from Kim's balcony, so the angle below, this, hor this is the horizontal line from her balcony. The angle of depression, so the angle going um, below the horizontal, is at 40 degrees. Okay. The angle of elevation from Kim's balcony, so the angle above the horizontal line, so this is the horizontal here, this is the horizontal, the angle above the horizontal is 20 degrees, um, going up to Yuri's balcony. Okay. Um, question A, how high is Kim's balcony from the ground? So how high is this balcony from the ground? Question B, how high is Yuri's balcony from the ground? How high is this balcony? from the ground. So let's just do question A first. Um, so I want to figure out how high this balcony is from the ground. Well, let, let's take a look at this triangle here. I've got a triangle right here. If I could figure out this side length right here, this one right here on this triangle, if I could figure out that side length, okay, that would tell me how high her balcony is from the ground. Okay. So, how do I figure out that side length? Well, I know at one angle of that triangle is 40. I also know the apartments are 30 meters apart. So this side length must be 30 right here. Okay, so I know an angle, I know its side. I can then um, I can figure out um, one of the other sides using my trig ratios. Okay, so let's consider this one triangle. Let's let's kind of like pull this triangle out from this example here. Okay. So let's just pull this triangle out and solve. Uh, we'll make this x. Okay, solve for x. So I'm just going to draw this triangle. So my triangle looks roughly like this. Here's my right angle. I want to figure out how high it, how high up that balcony is. I know this side length is 30. I know this is 40 degrees. Okay. So if this is my reference angle of 40, okay, if my reference angle is 40, I know my hypotenuse is across from the right angle, x is the opposite side, and this side of 30 is the adjacent side to this reference angle. So I don't need this hypotenuse at all. What I'm interested in is finding the opposite side, and I'm given the adjacent side. So what ratio has opposite and adjacent? The tan ratio. So tan of 40 equals x over 30, opposite over adjacent. That means if I isolate the x, multiply the 30 to the other side, 30 tan 40 equals x, x equals, put that in our calculator, um, yep, in degree mode, 30 tan 40. 30, tan, 40, let's see how high it up it is, it's 25.2, we'll round it there, 25.2 meters, so this is part A. So, 
Question A, how high is Kim's balcony from the ground? Kim's balcony. Kim's balcony is 25.2 meters from the ground. Awesome. Okay. Now let's do part B. Okay. So, how high is Yuri's balcony from the ground? So to figure out how high Yuri's balcony is from the ground, what did I just do there? Okay. To figure out how high Yuri's balcony is from the ground, okay, let me just kind of get rid of all this stuff. Okay, so I want to know what I'm interested in. I want to know this entire height. Okay, I want to know how high that is. I I know how high it is from the ground to Kim's balcony. So what all I need to now figure out is how high it is from her balcony, Yuri's balcony, and then add the two, and that'll tell me the total height of Yuri's balcony. Okay, so I know this height of Kim's balcony is 25.2. 25.2. So now all I'm interested in is this, x, okay? I know they're 30 meters apart. I know an angle. If I just look at this triangle here, I have a side length, I have an angle, it's a right angle triangle. I can solve for an unknown side. So let's go ahead and do that, okay? Uh, hold on, there we go. Okay, let's do that. So part B. Let's do it in green again. So part B. It's going to make a rough sketch of this triangle. Ooh, that's really bad, but you know what? It'll do the... No, that yeah, won't do the trick. Let's try again. Okay. This is much better. Well, it's not great, but it's better. Okay. So if this is 20 degrees in here. Um, this side is 30. This is my x. Okay. So if this is my reference angle, um, I want to know the opposite side, and I'm given the adjacent side. So opposite and adjacent, once again, is the tan ratio. So tan of 20 equals x over 30. 30 tan 20 equals x. Okay, x equals, put that in on my calculator, 30 tan 20, not 200, 30 tan 20, good, it equals 10.9. Okay, x equals 10.9. So from here to here is 10.9. Um, height of Yuri's balcony So the height of Yuri's balcony is 10.9 plus what was the height of Kim's balcony? 25.2. 10.9 plus 25.2, which equals 10.9 plus 25.2, 36.1 meters. Okay, so height of the balcony is 36.1 meters. Um, that's it. Hopefully you can see how we can use um, ratios of right angle triangles to solve problems. Any questions, let me know.